Well, hello, he's got something to say. With us? Not this one. Nor this one. And this one are less worthy still. What are you doing exactly? Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Wait, so... Oh, so he can basically add in a hired help? Is that what it is? I don't know... Okay... Can I exactly trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. Well, I'm not exactly My innocent. services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. I see, I see. Well, I kind of see, I don't, but I'm going to go with it. Well, these hirelings, uh, are they joining me willingly, or...? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Withers. I can get a little extra help now. That's... I'll keep that in mind. Gail, there's not two of you this time, which is great. How can I help? Uh, actually, I wanted to ask, are you okay? You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Deadly? Uh, uh, just how deadly is it? Can it be cured? No, it cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home in Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. What kind of items exactly are you talking about? Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls. The form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. So you need them at ASAP? Well, if I can help, then I'll help. You're in Aqua Circle, after all, and once you're in Aqua Circle, that's it, you're in, and she's going to help. You have my thanks. And fear not, your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'll hold you to that. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. I am? I... what? Oh. What exactly is going to happen to this weapon when I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Okay, let's see what I have. Ah, so it was this. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not ridding a staring of his book. Nope, 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 nope. But that is... I don't get... Yeah, we, do... we don't need dancing lights. Just, yeah. You have that. Thank you. Straight 
straight in. Oh, your tattoo glows as well. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. So you're feeling better now? Good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And... On the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Don't mention it. I'm glad to help. That feels weird saying it for Aqua. <laughs> oh, why does that sound weird? But no, no, it's true, like, if you're in Aqua's circle, this is how I see it, if you're in Aqua's circle, she's... Circle? Words, Jess. If you're in Aqua's circle, she's going to protect you, she's going to help you, but she's also going to be an absolute tormentive bitch, probably. <laughs> Not always, but... Yeah, you're in her circle, so she's gonna help, so she's gonna be glad to help. My lady, I bowed your boundless kindness. Just don't do that. Gail, don't don't bow to me. I may have I may have agreed to it with Lizelle. But that was a different matter entirely, and because you gotta admit Lizelle is a tiny bit scary, but she's awesome at the same time. Speaking of Lizelle. Hey! We were just talking about you kind of well, kinda. Gail is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs. As long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Actually, Lazelle, can I ask you about Mindfires? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. But questions get me places. And likely annoy a lot of people with it too. Why does it always feel like that's a dumb question? Because we saw what happens on the bloody Nautiloid. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Oh, she knows then more. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Okay, now Your you're exaggerating. Will change form. I think. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. Oh, that's a lot of detail. Your skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Lazelle, do you need a hug? <laughs> do you, you... No, if I hug her, she's gonna stab me. Ha! Huh, that sounds awful. Um, how exactly are you so calm about that? Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Was it Gail who mentioned something like that, or was it Nettie? Na Nettie? Natty? I can't remember. I'm mixing names with bloody Hogwarts now. So she's just as equally worried as the others. Is it good news, though? Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Fair point. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Okay. Well, thanks for the chat, Lazelle. Yeah, she's still awesome. Sterian. Hi. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. Well, he is a I wizard. How he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. We didn't exactly need dancing light skill, did we, Dasterian? 
Oh, well. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Oh, was that it? Nothing else? <laughs> it's so weird. Ah, I'll give you a head pat. Hey, Shadowheart, I see you got your clothes back. I wonder where they went for the past uh, couple of episodes. <laughs> so, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Shadowheart, your lips went completely out of sync then, with your voice. Also, that's a f Okay, noted. Things that happen in the actual world comes to the camp as well. Okay. I'm actually quite glad about that. What can I say? They were eye-catching. Consider me an art lover. I'm never going to consider you an art lover because of the way you said that. It sounded like an evasion. Mrs. Mystery. Anyways, we should get to know each other more. A little bit. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Okay, you got a good point. Mysteries are good, yes, but I'm just looking to make a conversation. Conversation shouldn't be made. It should be grown. Let the seeds sprout in their own time. If that's the case, we're never going to chat again, you know that, right? Oh, fine. If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Why do I hear sarcasm in that voice? Absolutely, completely. Okay, right, I'll leave in you be. Don't be surprised if you lose your knickers in the meantime. <laughs> Alright, get to bed. People, go to bed. don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. Shit is a bloody understatement, Asterion. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. Oh, my girl's face! Oh, she's, ang she's angry! <laughs> it's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer. Kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Oh, that's so tempting. Don't tempt me with pushing into his mind. I don't want to. He's one of the characters I don't actually want to torment. Oh. Uh, Asterion, why didn't you just tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I've just noticed the cut behind him on the stone is actually like spilt blood like the stone is covered in it I've just realized that okay fine I believe you thank you do you think you could trust me just a little further I only need a taste I swear fine but not a drop more than what you need, okay? Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's 
like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Should I let him continue? Yeah, why not? You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Wait, numb? No, 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 no. Asterion? Hey, too much. Oh, you got to be kidding me, what? Oh no. Oh shit! Asterion! Man with fangs, please. Okay, I'm curious. You can hear <laughs> how weak your voice is. So can he. But he doesn't care. He's long past caring. You feel a little cold. But that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Mysterion, you're killing me. Never mind. I'm dead. <sighs> oh no. Something terrible's happened. Understatement of your life. Not even Lazelle, Shadowheart, or Gale is gonna comment comment on that. Really? 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 Okay, let's see if it works this time. Dice rolls, do not kill me, please! Yay, they don't want me dead yet. Asterion, you're killing me. Uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. I'm glad you're happy that you almost just killed me, Asterion. I'm looking forward to when you fight, though. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Okay, near-death experience by Asterion. Eh, okay. I should speak up. Asterion. Good morning. How do you feel? Woozy. That's for definite. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Wait, so you're not actually a full vampire then? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. How old? Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Quirks? Other quirks? There's more quirks? If I can help in some way that doesn't involve you constantly biting my neck while I'm trying to sleep, I'll help. Just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although uh, there's still time. Yeah, it looks a like vampire. it. Well, that explains the pallor. 
Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Thanks, Shadowheart. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Githyanki. I've got a feeling her blood is not going to taste very nice, Asterium. Don't try it, please. But yes, he's not going to hurt us, and I trust him. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Did she just Shall hit on him? There's a long day ahead of us. Lizelle, did you just hit on a Starian, kind of? Because that was kind of... Okay, then. Um, right. Uh -huh. Moving on. Also, I actually have a condition on me now. Feed if you must, Astarian, but give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. <laughs> she is so hitting on him. Oi, he's mine. Bloodless. Feels a bit woozy, minus one to attack roll, saving throws, and most ability checks. Aqua girl, you're gonna need a bit of help. <laughs> Possibly. You're gonna wanna do your thingies. That one. These boots have seen everything. Yes, they have, and I wanna go this way. So, to give you guys the lowdown, I had to actually replay through all of this. So some things are gonna seem possibly different, possibly not, hence why those two have got armor now and the starion is still in his camp clothes, cause reasons. So I had to replay it, so a few things are different and I also spotted a few new things. So there's two places that I want to see. First one's in here, the other one is in the ruins uh, outside of the grove. Because basically when I was uh, got heading towards the grove and I went to cover that area, get that place sorted so I can get with us into the camp. I, uh, I spotted like there was a door that I completely missed and went past, so I want to go back there and take a look at this. The other thing is, I noticed this wall and I didn't exactly... Uh, I I don't think my pers perspective check worked. I think. Force resistant, okay. There we go. Okay! Let's go take a look. So this is one place that we got to check. We're in depth. Webs. They'll alert their spinners with a mere touch. Oh, lovely. Avoid the webs then. Okay. I'm gonna save here because I, I need to. Okay. So we got a torch. I got visual light. You guys might want a torch at some point. Asterion's got the happy condition. Asterion's vampire hunger has been temporarily stated. Plus one to all attack rolls. Okay. I'm loving that. That's fun. Okay, can I go down here? Is this wise in all of the water? It doesn't feel like it. I can't see. There we go. Zoom in. I have no idea where I'm going, and this is probably not the best way of going about it. I can't even go that way. Moving on then. I don't trust this spider web is gonna fall! Or not. What are you saving from? No idea. Hello. Oh, we've got friends in here. Guys, you might want to... Sneaky sneaky. How can I sneak on them? Can I sneak on them? Hang on, let's go turn-based. Maybe. Nah. Taking my time in the shadows. 
Jason. No, I just wanted to end the thingy turn. Aqua, just go. Oh, this place is lovely. Ah, ha, ha. stay still. Stay still. Can you? Shit. Aqua, go over here. I think. But that guy, he's all the way up there. Oh, he's actually further away than I thought. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't think those guys are actually going to go anywhere, so... I'm going to sneak over there. Force me on my power! No, I'll save the level 2 slot. Get him! I can speak with the dead. Semblance of life to a human eye quartz, allowing it to answer up to five questions. Oh. 